Hey everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about the complete architecture of Exadata. So let's get into the video and watch the video till the end to get all the major insights. So here what you are going to see is um, on the Exadata side, we, we are basically providing the Exadata public service okay if you see here this is the exadata public service but that public service is provided in the customer data center which is oracle owned and managed infrastructure and that is located in your data center and now how this is going to be maintained so oracle will give you the exadata infrastructure plus two control plane infrastructure too now this control plane is uh, through which uh, you know oracle is also allowing you to connect to the OCI console and see as like what I am seeing is that is when I click the so from here when I click just a minute yeah so when I click this, this is basically the control plane web UI which is installed on the control plane servers and that is where from where I'm going to see. So Oracle has got the endpoints of the um, uh, of the ExaCC service basically in the region specific uh, stuff uh, means the endpoints are there and through which the control panel and the control plane from where the entire management my console is there and I can manage it from the GUI based stuff. Right, so that is all secure. And through that, I am also connected to the uh, service tenancy of Oracle, which is uh, via network admin, VCN administrator of uh, Oracle. Now here is the management server, which, which, which is in the VCN admin. And this is all basically controlled by Oracle. Okay, so Oracle is basically uh, going to connect to this management server from this management server will be performing the task and you can also access the uh, other services as well from your tenancy like this is say my tenancy is there and i want to connect to uh, access a logging service or maybe the object storage service i want to use it i will be securely connecting and using these uh, services from the oracle service tenancy So and uh, yes, there is an outgoing uh, tunnel. So there is uh, no collection or no, uh, you know, data which Oracle is going to put it in our servers. They are only going to collect the monitoring and the telemetry data. There are multiple clusters. So this is when you see the Oracle Exadata infrastructure. It is exactly the same which we have seen it in ExaCS DOM zero is there which is an oracle domain and then uh, over that the virtual machines the database servers will be running from your end you can basically access your con uh, oci cons from the oci console in your tenancy you will be able to access this in exadata infrastructure which is within your uh, which is within your in data center from there you can basically access and perform all the operations which are under your control and you can perform it from the console apart from that via cli you can also perform it you can connect it and you can perform via rest apis you can connect it and you can perform so there are rich apis which are available through which you will be able to update and perform all the stuff which you are going you, you can do it from the console and the CLIs. Right, so if we see from the network side, <clears throat> so we basically has uh, the virtual machines which is running. So these are like your database servers or uh, you know the, uh, sorry, the, these are your clusters, VM clusters and these clusters so when i say talk about the database server it is the virtual machine let me show you from the console how it looks like so this is my cluster which is created 
and when I click the cluster it is going to take me here now if you see here these are the virtual machines so these are like my four database servers which are running and these are like four node clusters on which your database servers will be later database will be further created so this is basically the uh, the virtual machines only okay and see if you see here over these virtual machines my database servers will be hosted so it can host up to eight virtual machines per database server okay at the back end there is a storage cell is there three and the management network is going to be there through which these cells will be maintained and then you have got basically the at the top if you are seeing the same uh, you know which we have seen it uh, last time as well the client network and the backup network so client network is basically the one which is uh, you know used for the client access to these database server and like from your application when you want to connect to the uh, database server this is the network which is going to be used and similar to the client access network you have got the uh, you know backup network as well which can be used for your backups and for your bulk data transfer if you want to do it so Oracle basically recommends that uh, uh, you know you should use the backup network for your backup specifically so that it can be you know uh, it's an heavy operation so it should not uh, hinder or affect the other operation uh, other uh, activities in the client network so that is the reason the two networks are separate and there now if I say talk about the client plane network uh, sorry the control plane network which is nothing but the uh, you know VPN which connects basically the two control plane servers which are located at the Exerata cloud at customer rack to the Oracle cloud infrastructure so that connectivity is what is provided so it is basically used for your uh, monitoring and the administration of your uh, Exerata cloud at customer by Oracle and there is okay I will just go one slide back so here is what you see your VCN right this is your administration network so this administration this network basically connects your uh, exa CC servers and uh, your switches to, to the two control panels so here these are two tunnels are there so two control panels uh, control plane will be servers will be uh, located here right CPS so the admin network basically connects that and apart from that uh, there is another uh, yeah there is an infiniband server i think yeah here it is the back network fabric yeah so this network basically connects your database server and the storage server and the control plane servers so this basically uses the InfiniBand switches, which now will be replaced with the uh, row switches in the X8 and the X9. Right. Now this is a, a, a insight look about the users, the keys, uh, your 9M. So if you see here, this is your dom zero the last border and in that you have the dom u which has got your uh, management tools xs cli and the dbas cli it has got users opc oracle grid root you are connected via key with the opc and then you will be having a pseudo access to your uh, database dom u so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really special for you we have our free class on transition from oracle dba to cloud and if you want to attend it then all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash cloud dba02 
In this free class, we'll be discussing about why Oracle DBAs should learn cloud and what to focus first, exit on cloud deployment architecture and whatnot. So, just click on book your seat now, select an event date, enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL. Save that, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.